Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get a teal and orange color grading. It's a popular cinematic look to give your footage a warm and smooth feel. So we're going to do this all right in Premiere and I've got a little sequence of clips here just to show you guys an example on a variety of different colors and light. So I'm actually going to be working on an adjustment layer above the clips which is just going to give us a little bit more flexibility. So let's head over to the project media bin, make sure it's highlighted, and then go to file, new, adjustment layer. Now you should see a blank black adjustment layer pop up in your project media bin. So you can click and drag it over whatever amount of clips you want on the track. So now I have this blank adjustment layer and I can begin applying effects onto it. And in order to do this right within Premiere, let's head over to the Lumetri color tab. Here we have a whole host of options from basic color correction to creative colors, and the one that we're going to go to is actually color wheels. So here you should see three color wheels allowing you to influence the shadows, midtones, and highlights of your image. So in order to start building our teal and orange look, let's get some blues in the shadows. So I'm going to go right in between this bright blue and dark blue. And this is kind of just testing and experimenting. You can click around and see what looks nice for you. It's going to look different depending on the light in your shots or the settings of your camera. If you've ever gone too far and you just want to reset back to nothing, just double click on it and it goes back to zero. So I'm going to keep it there for the shadows and then let's go over to the highlights and make it a bit of a brighter orange. And then if we want we can also go to the midtones and add a slight bit of influence on the orangish or red side. Kind of pull this one more towards the red to give it some of that bright and warm vibrance. And then from here now that you have all three points plotted out. You kind of just want to go through and drag things or pull things back or pull things to be more strong to balance out the three adjustments. There's also this little slider on the left hand side which just lets you influence kind of like the brightness or intensity of that certain portion. So if I want to make the shadows brighter I can do that or if I want to make the highlights brighter or less bright I can do that as well. I've found that maybe if you pull down the highlights a tiny bit it can add to the look. But let's keep it at that. And although this is the main portion of the effect, from here you can go through some of the other tabs in the Lumetri color panel, like basic correction, if you want to adjust the overall temperature to be slightly warmer or cooler, or if you need to add things like exposure or contrast to your specific shot. And you can also go into the creative tab if you want to add a slight bit of vibrance and saturation to brighten things up a little bit, and pull that faded film color effect up if you like your shadows to be a little lighter and, and lift up the blacks a bit. Of course, the curves tool is also available for you. Very powerful way to brighten up, get that faded black look, or influence a specific color channel to be more red or more blue. And you can use all of these things to your advantage to build a very unique and personalized color grade for your specific settings to be able to really customize and personalize it for your footage but as you can see, even if I turn off the curves effect, the main bulk of this effect is coming from the color wheels adjustment that we did. And the curves is a nice way to really give it that finishing touch if you want to go the extra step. If you're not too familiar with all of the adjustments in this panel, then check out my general color grading tutorial where I kind of go over it all. And check out some of the other color grading videos on my channel for a more comprehensive look. But this is how you basically do a teal and orange color grade in Premiere Pro. And since we have it on an adjustment layer, we can always go through on the adjustment layer and then turn down the opacity if we want to lower the strength. So I can make it just at 50 or 60% for a more subtle effect. Also, you can always right click and save the Lumetri color effect as a preset. And then it'll always be in your effects preset folder for you to drag onto future adjustment layers and clips. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, then definitely leave a like on it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not to stay tuned for all my future videos. I do plan on launching a creator store to have these type of resources available for you guys to purchase and some freebies on my website soon. So follow me on social media at Justin OD Show to stay up to date with whenever I release new stuff like that. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.